Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm excited to show you the new uh, feature I've been working on. So I've spent quite some time on uh, on TechDraw, on the TechDraw workbench. And um, and uh, and the, the, the tool I've been working, the first tool I've been working on is the insert new page, um, which is already available in that is in current version of, um, of Astocad, the build uh, 41726. And so yeah, so first let me show you how, how the 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 FreeCAD 1.0 um, is uh, is working. So let's let me add the, the solid here, and now we go to Tech Draw. And okay, so basically in the mm, stock version of FreeCAD, to create a page, you have actually two tools. One just opens like the default template which is basically a, an empty A4 paper and uh, you can actually specify that in the settings you know but you have to discover that and the other possibility is this one which is opening this folder and in this folder you have some um, templates so for example you have ISO where is ISO Oh, it's here, ISO, uh, but it's kind of a mess, right? Because those are only in English, and and so you have ISO here, and then you have A A1 ISO. So you also have a ISO. Also, okay, so now this is only the title blocks, I think. Well, so you you get it. It's kind of a mess, right? And you have only English, and it's all there, and you have a few translation in here. But it's also like, for example, Italian, you have Italian, you have uh, only one page and in French you have oh, the same one, but it's Spanish, for example, it has, it's not the same, right? So it's, it's a big mess and you have two tools. That's, that's not very good, right? So in Astocad, what I've done is that I've added like a task panel like this. And basically you can choose the standard that you want, the page size orientation portrait or or landscape and the language as well huh? so that's uh, and you have a preview so you can see what it's going to look like so a a0 is very big and so on and and yeah you also have you also have various standards so iso i think is, is so it's the default one uh, you have minim minimal but that's just changing the uh, the title block here and then you also have like the arc um it's basically the this the, the the templates that were available in the folder right but they are big, better organized right and and if you are using the default iso template then you have the translation that works out of the of, out of the box so that's nice and you can also cr add templates right so if you click on this button you get the folder the, the templates folder so it's basically the same as uh, in FreeCAD 1.0 but it's you see it's organized differently so you have one folder for each type of um, of standard right and then each side and inside portrait and so on so basically if you want to add a custom template you just create a folder custom and then maybe some size landscape you put your you put your template here and that will work here and, and the good news is that if you use the same strings, so if you use the same wording as the as the uh, ISO 5457, then the translation will also work automatically, right? If it's the same wording, then it can translate. So yeah, so that's for adding custom templates and, um, and that's about it. You choose the template, uh, the language you want you click ok and you can see here matériaux de la pièce titre titre supplémentaire so it's all translated well all no it's not all translated not the uh, not the editable fields those are not translated but uh, all the uh, not editable fields i guess are uh, uh, editable so yeah, so that's it about this new feature, and I'm also working on a lot of uh, additional uh, stuff in TechDraw, such as the right-click contextual menu, which is uh, a mess, and I also unified the hatch face tools because we had to. But those are not already in the 
build that is available. It's still uh, being tested, so I will not elaborate much on them. Um, yeah, so um, that's about it. Spent some time on uh, on TechDraw to make yeah improve the usability of the of the workbench, right? Uh, well, thanks for uh, watching, and yeah, for those who don't know, that's part of the Astocad branch, and Astocad is basically like you know an up, up, um, graded version of FreeCAD, um, in which I put a lot of new features, and basically, it's um, Astocad is not free; it's like through a subscription of four euro per month. And by taking the subscription, basically you enable, you let me work on FreeCAD full time. And ultimately, you know, I'm keeping like some features in Astocad for some time, but ultimately I will merge them into main. So ultimately you will, uh, you help like the development of FreeCAD, right? So if uh, you're not if you're already a subscriber of thanks very much and if you're not maybe you can please consider uh, getting a subscription uh, to help me uh, you know uh, get there so, so thanks for watching and have a good day bye bye